claim to be a player, but I fucked your wife. We bust on bad boys, niggas fuck. What's up? Connor, it has happened. What has happened? The bitch ass motherfucker is back. No. No. You don't mean. Black Hitler. Alright, welcome back to this thing. So today we got a special video today. It's it's like like you have no idea how 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 excited the video is called hashtag yes all white people. So today let's just watch this beautiful not racist person, shall we? Let's go! Aquamia! Hey, I'm back, I'm back, ready to attack, 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 I'm back! I'm back! Ready to attack! So I took a three week, almost kind of month break, y'all. It's been crazy. I had a birthday. I'm 25 now, bow in the face. I'm not sure if I'm watching Rush Hour 2 with Chris Tucker or just something else. I'm not really entirely sure. Yes, yeah, that it. My ex is now dating a big ass, old ass, ugly ass, cave beast, Urugu, Neanderthal Tom, totally complexion individual. So if y'all thought that I hated white people before, <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that again. You're making me very scared inside and out. Please don't do that ever again. For the love of God. No. Ever do that ever again. Word of the day. Mandingo bed wench. Okay, I hope your chain's not too tight and your bed sheets stay dry. My bed sheets? My bed sheets? Stay dry? So, so you're gonna think everyone's gonna wet their pants after this video, huh? Also, I moved from Los Angeles, California to Tampa, Florida! Oh, Florida! The, ble the best state ever. Best one. Best one. Best state ever. Best state ever. Yes! All white people. Hashtag yes, all white people. Started by my girl, Seren. Click here to see her video. I don't care about that. The thing I care about is, why is the video called hashtag yes all white people? Are you gonna say yes all white people are white? I don't think so. All white people are racist. That was my come at me, uh, dance. My hands hurt. I, I, I kinda called it on that one. He, he was like, yes, all white people are apparently racist. Yes. Every single one of them. Oh, 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 this, this baby right here. He's born. Oh my god, he was, he was born. What, what skin color is he? Uh, he's, he's white, sir. My, my goodness. We gotta, we gotta throw him out of the, we gotta throw him in the trash. Why? Because he's white. Why? Because he's racist. He was just born four seconds ago. I don't care. This is literally Hitler. Let's, let's just, let's just throw him out in the trash. Like, let's, let's not even, let's not even just place him in the trash. Let's just take him by the leg, throw him against the bloody wall. And, yeah. All white people are apparently racist to Mr. Ghazi here. Each and every one of them. But Ghazi, don't make such general statements. It's wrong. Don't make general statements, Ghazi. I'm siding with that part of Ghazi, not the racist part of Ghazi. The, you know, the one that's not racist. Okay, so all general statements are not incorrect, right? All rocks are hard, all water is wet. Well, not ice. And a lot of you understand, right, through systems of oppression, that all black people are oppressed, right? Yes, every single one of them is apparently oppressed. Every single one of them is oppressed. I mean, look at Morgan Freeman, man. He, he looks so oppressed. I mean, the way he makes billions and millions of dollars. Man, everyone loves him. He's so oppressed. I mean, look at him, man. I feel so sorry for Morgan Freeman the way that he's, he's black. I mean, he must be so oppressed. I mean, God. Dang, I mean, every time I watch that one movie, March of the Penguins, I always cry. I mean, every single time Morgan Freeman talks about the penguins, I can just hear the, the, the depression in his voice about him being black. It's just so, it's just so sad. It's just, 
<laughs> I've never seen anything like it in my life. Dear God. And you understand that all white people have white privilege. What exactly is white privilege? I still don't get what that is. You get that, right? Those are general statements that are true. So all general statements are not false. So you understand that all white people get white privileges and all black people are oppressed. Yeah, Morgan Freeman is very oppressed. I mean, look at him, the way that he's got them money. Yeah, Tupac is bet. Wait, Tupac is dead. Homeless people are not oppressed at all. You know, you know, white homeless people aren't oppressed. You know, they, you know, they chose to be homeless. I mean, I mean, they're they're out there just being all like, man, I I love being homeless. The way that I am just pure homeless and I have nothing. I'm in the street, it's raining on top of me, I have no roof over my head, and I love this. I am not oppressed at all. And then you got this rich black dude who's all like, I am so oppressed, I don't know why. It's just because of my blackness, I am so oppressed. I am very confused right now. But you don't understand that those two realities have mental repercussions how do you get that girl how don't you get that girl did you just assume my fucking gender that is not right you racist sexist misogynist son of a bitch how dare you assume my gender why don't you connect the dots connect the dots one, two, three, four, five, six, it makes a horse. Remember those little drawings we used to make with the dots? Amazing, I miss being a child. That all black people suffer from post-traumatic slave syndrome. I'm sorry, what'd you just say? Are you trying to change post-traumatic stress disorder to post-traumatic slave? First off, how can you say all black people suffer from post-traumatic slave disorder if one, the slavery happened like 700 years ago or something? Slavery happened before you were born, so how could you say you you suffer from that when it's done, it's gone, it's it's done, it's been done for, it's gone, forget about it. I mean, look at the Irish people, I mean, remember the Irish slavery? Oh, you don't remember that? Oh, oh, that's right, I'm sorry, your slavery was better than our slavery, it's, it's not like, it's not like, um, it's not like, um, like, like, in, in the black slavery, it's not like, um, Black people sold black innocent black people for money, you know. It's not like not like that happened. It's not like black people had black slaves, you know. Oh wait, that happened. Oh my. Oh, I guess we're not the racist ones after all. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm white, so I, I don't know anything. Different, different spectrum. So you think yes, all black people are savages. All black people are horrid. I am amazing. I am white. I have all the things, and I need to help them. And da 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 da. So you're saying that just because someone is white, they're just gonna go out in the open and say, "Oh my God, I just realized something. I'm white." Watch where you walking, bitch. What did you? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm white. I can just go outside and be all like, "I'm gonna help you," because. I'm white. That makes no sense. It's like, oh, I'm gonna help this. The, you know, it was like, you know, I'm a sensual millionaire. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, donate my money to, to, children's hospitals. You know that stuff. Why? Cause I'm white. Not, right. I don't really get too much into the white psyche. Don't care. As black people, we really need to understand the realities of the world, not as which we would like them to be, or we try to imagine them to be, but what it actually is. A myth. Okay, this is actually simple pathology, y'all. Y'all need to crack open a book. Did, Did you just say pathology? Didn't I tell you to read post-traumatic slave syndrome? Didn't I tell you to read that book? Didn't I tell you to read Urugu? Didn't I tell you to read that book? Get that girl. Get that book, girl. Get that book, girl. That doesn't exist, because I'm pretty sure you, sir, were not enslaved at all. I'm pretty sure you, you didn't exist in the 1800s where it got people that own slaves. I'm pretty sure you're not that. Have you been that? Are you are you a hundred years old? What are, what are you, demigod? Huh? Huh? What are, you, what are you, a god? Huh? 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 You really look that old to, you know, remember the, the slavery stuff. Just like a Assassin's Creed where you're an animus and then you then you remember things from your ancestors' past? Were you like in an animus or something? You had a post-traumatic animus disorder or something? Okay, 
Okay, so this has actually been already scientifically proven on that ass. So this is not discussion, girl. This is not a discussion, girl. This is just me telling you exactly what is going on, okay? Scientists have actually already proven this. I will post the link below. In that link, you will find a study. A study scientifically proven that post-traumatic slave disorder. You, sir, ma'am, Chris Tucker, looking mother fricker, you are a billion percent wrong with everything you are saying. You are scum of the universe. One, like, under under Hitler and Osama bin Laden, because, you know, Osama bin Laden and Hitler did a lot of, you know, worse things than you. You're just, you're just the tip of the tip of the iceberg. I mean, they're, they're really bad, but you, you, sir, just, you're teaching people how to be racist against the whites, because, you know, all the whites are apparently evil nowadays. I mean, go outside and see, see a white dude, you know, step on a cat, and now you look at him, look at the white dude, and he's all like, I'm white, what are you gonna do? Yeah, because that really- We're scientists. Okay, let me, let me backtrack. Okay, in your brain, right, when I pick up this glass and I drink, something in your brain mimics that exact movement, right? In your brain, all the things in your brain that activate when you do that, you do that as well, right? When you see another human being doing that. That is the basis of empathy. That is the basis of human connection, is that action happening in your brain, that mimicking action. What is drinking liquid out of a cup have to do with all white people are apparently racist to you. Can you please explain that to me? In your brain, girl, okay? Can you please stop deep throating your tongue? It's kind of weird. Now, since this study has just been done, we don't know if white people never had this connection in their brain or if because of colonialism and all the violence that they have put on black bodies, on bodies of people of color, and imperialism, and this consistent violence and trauma that they put on us, that somehow that connection had to break down and go away. I really don't know what are you saying. All I just heard was, oh, you got a cup, and then you drink from the cup, and then the brain says, oh, I just drank something from the cup, and apparently if you get a white dude's brain, do the thing about the cup, and then the cup says no black people, and just like. And that's all we need to worry about, okay? But Gazi, what about my white mom that adopted me? She's so nice. But Gazi, what about my white friends? They're so nice. Gazi, what about my white lover? I love my white lover so much. You're going to have to learn to hold them accountable. White people be saying some anti black shiznit on every second of the second. If you're not catching it, that's because you're not looking for it. You're not aware enough. You're not conscious enough to it. So you need to become conscious enough to it. Then you need to hold these people accountable to their actions and their words and let them know that yes, you are white. Therefore, you are anti-black. You are naturally racist. You are born into this society. You are born into this pathology. So you need to work against this consistently every day. Understand that you are a parasite invading as you're on American soil that was created by the destruction of the Native American and enslavement of black people. We were nice to you. Why would that make us racist if we hate you? Can you please explain that to us? Explain the fact that apparently all white people to you, an entire race, is apparently racist to you. Please explain that to me. It don't say that something in our brain tells us that we are always been racist. You thing are just a piece of shit. And not because you're black. It's because of what you think white people are. The entire race is racist apparently to you. You are an idiot. You always have to understand that. You always have to understand that this system only exists because of consistency of imperialism that destroys and oppresses peoples of color all over the world. You have to hold them accountable to that. If you really think that they are your real friend or your real mother, okay, this person should be able to understand that. It should be real easy for them to understand that. You're saying every day I have to admit that I'm apparently white and racist. That's what I have to do every single day. I have to wake up and say I'm apparently racist piece of shit.